Hello there, I am Casper from Skahoy, and today we are diving deep into how we are revolutionizing the world of universal controllers. We are not just any company, we are essentially your go-to brand for universal control, and that would be for cameras, video switches, routers, audio, signal processors, mixers, and so much more. And thanks to our great collaboration with Sony, we are now happy to announce a very deep integration with the frequently requested FX6 cameras. This camera is redefining flexibility in production. With its full frame capabilities packed into a very compact body, you are essentially holding cinema quality in your hands. And no wonder why it is frequently chosen in multi-cam and broadcast live productions. And no wonder why Skaho users kept on asking, do you support FX6? And now, yes we do. So while the camera in itself is impressive, we at Skahoy have the tools to make it ready to go into any environment which requires the next level of remote control. Feature number one for camera control, the RCP joystick, and we have the best one in the world. So with this joystick, you have control of your lens, the iris of the lens, how much light gets into the sensor basically. And this is an amazing joystick. It has the push functionality you would expect. It has a display on top, which is unique and shows you the f-stops of the lens. And you also have a ring to adjust master black if that is applicable on your lens or camera. So that is the first thing that characterizes a RCP like the RCP Pro here. We have a number of buttons that can adjust settings in the camera. We will go through that in a moment, but I just want to introduce you to these basic features, including the connectivity to a video switcher behind. So if we turn our eyes towards Reactor, which is the software running inside the RCP Pro, you can see how we have basically connected to the Sony FX6 here. It has an IP address set up. We also have an Atom Constellation shift, uh, switcher connected. So with that one, we are able to talk to the uh, backbone switcher and get the tally information for the LED here. And we can also use it for routing. And I'll show you that. So let's just go over to the Atom switcher. You can see if I make a cut, we actually see a change here on the um, LED. If I move uh, completely away from, the, um, uh, from input number one, you see it's just becoming white. The second thing I want to show you is that we are using output number one on the Atom Constellation switcher for the joystick override. So when I press the joystick down, you see it's jumping to input number one temporarily and then back to input number three. And all this is easily set up inside Reactor. The routing trigger is what brings you back to the fallback input, which is number three and so on. All these settings can be handled in here. There's one thing that we would like to advise you and that is to get an ethernet adapter for the camera so you can control it over wired ethernet. Highly recommended. It is possible with Wi-Fi, but we do not recommend it if you want reliable control get an adapter like this one. And it has to be a specific adapter, otherwise your camera won't accept it. So reach out to us to know which particular adapter will work with the FX6 camera. So all those basics in place, we can now concentrate on how we can control the camera. You already see that the iris is controllable using the amazing joystick on RCP Pro. So that is in place. We also have the joystick override on the joystick so we can get the picture on the monitor in front of us. We have standard stuff like shift. We have an engineering menu on the RCP where you can see IP address of the device and all these things label for the display right here. And then we have the menu. So with these buttons, we can navigate the settings up here in the menu, which are um, um, adjusted by these encoders. So you have a grid of encoders corresponding to the values in the display. You even have additional pages. So we have pages from six up to 10 and I can go to the image menu, action, info and playback. So let's look a little bit uh, on what we have inside here. We have um, adjustment of the white balance. You can go from between the automatic white balance we have right now, and you can go over to manual white balance. And actually, this is on the home screen, so it's also find, uh, found inside the, um, uh, let me see, uh, where was it? We had it, we have a white balance uh, in the image menu. 
Yes, there you see we have automatic and white balance. So sometimes what we do is we bring out settings on the home screen, which are like essential for you. And often they are also find deeper inside the structure. So right now it's an automatic and we have manual here. You can see the Kelvin degrees read out on the displays just next to it. Let's go back to the home screen. We have uh, gain in dB. Um, which is shown uh, right here. If we go to the exposure, uh, you can see this is because gain mode is currently in manual. So in manual mode, we can adjust the gain. If I go back to uh, automatic, it is now inaccessible and it is automatically set by the um, camera. The iris mode can actually also be in auto. So if I turn the joystick all the way down, then it won't actually change the exposure. But, but if I go back to manual, you'll see that having the joystick right here it is uh, on uh, F14, so I can go into auto and then it will like slowly um, get back to automatic exposure. I'll go back to manual because after all you have an RCP because you want to do manual control of your camera, right? We have stuff like uh, base sensitivity between low and high. And here I have to tell you that some of these features are not available or they are available depending on shooting mode in the camera. Right now we are in, let me see, custom mode. And in custom mode, we do not have access to ISO. But if I go into flexible ISO mode, you'll find that in this display and on this knob, you can adjust the ISO of the camera. If we move on to shutter, you can see um, that we are currently having manual shutter turned off. If I turn it on, then I can adjust the shutter speed of the camera as well. And um, we can turn this off again. We have a show slaughter, uh, shutter, we have uh, show uh, slow frames, we have uh, shutter ECS, etc. settings on the uh, um, RCP here. The ND filters is another interesting story of this camera. It is currently set to preset, but if I turn it to variable and if I turn it on, you can actually audibly hear the ND filters in the camera. There was a motor, you saw it on the picture as well. So right now we are in manual mode with the ND filters and turning this knob, I can actually adjust the ND filters more or less uh, steplessly, as you can see. Very interesting feature of this uh, camera here. I can also turn it from auto to manual and so on. So this is like uh, you would expect um, these settings. They are probably a reflection of what you find in the menu of the camera. So you can adjust that as well. If we go to focus, you have things like uh, autofocus uh, going between manual and uh, automatic. Here you have various focus assist technologies you can turn on and off. Uh, on the uh, knobs, um, sensitivity, speed, the focus area, etc. That is all available in here. Going on to the image, we have the base look of the camera. There are different profiles or lots that you can change between. And that obviously has a great effect on the output image of the camera. I'm sure if you are an owner of the FX6, you know exactly what your preferences are and why you would want to have control of those. I'm myself not an expert in that, but I'm I, I trust that you have um, much better knowledge of these things than I do. And another cool thing is that whatever you have assigned to your uh, assignable buttons is also uh, available to you on the RCP. As you can see here, we have basically a way to to emulate the the press of a an assignable button on the camera from the RCP. So that's another way you can sort of custom program things. In the info menu, you have things you cannot change, but you can read out from the camera various settings. And then in the playback, there's actually access to the playback settings of the camera. Uh, you can, of course, um, record and uh, you can uh, rewind and fast forward and play and stop, etc., from this menu, which I won't show in, in this video. But again, you know your camera better than I do in this case. I want to show you how it's possible to also customize the RCP. So this is very essential to Skahoy products. We deliver them out of the box with functionality like what you see right here. This is what you get when you basically open, set up a few things and you're good to go. But you can also customize. And actually in this case, I would like to put the the selection of manual and automatic gain control onto the home screen right here. So let's just turn our eyes to Reactor, which is the software that runs inside the RCP Pro. It's connecting directly to the camera, no need for any computer in between. And it's also the software that allows you to customize. So um, we can see inside of um, the configuration tab, we can essentially navigate the RCP. I can actually zoom out, but what you see is we are in this uh, section called Sony FX6 camera adjustments. And that's exactly where we want to be because inside of this section, 
you essentially see the pages that the menus are covering. You see, we have nine pages. The, the ninth is not there. I could actually add this ninth page. So I could uh, make um, my custom settings on this page. Let's just make that a non-transparent page. And now you see we have actually a page with custom settings. If I press this one, yep, you basically have it all blanked out. And now it's my responsibility to place content on the displays here. So I could do that. I could actually, I could pick something from my item switcher if I wanted to. Let's say that I wanted to do something auxiliary select. It would be possible because I'm connected to an item switcher to, to just do this and um, make it select an input on auxiliary. But my main focus was to go to the home screen. So I want to go back to my home page here. And on this one, I want to utilize this encoder number five, which is currently unassigned. So I'll, I'll choose this one. And then, no, I don't want to do anything on my ATEM switcher. I want to do it on the Sony camera. So there are no like one click behaviors available here, but there is another parameter I can choose simply by clicking that button. I have already the Sony FX6 camera selected. I can now pick a, 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 um, um, a setting and I think I want to, let me see, not gain value. Oh, gain mode. Gain mode. I think gain mode is the one that I was looking for. So I'll just pick gain mode. I'll submit this one. And now you can see on my home screen, I just added the gain mode adjustment. So let's just see if this actually works. Yes, it does. And now I'm in manual mode. I can adjust it with the encoder. I can go back to automatic mode. And now the gain adjustment on this encoder is blocked. I cannot change it because it's automatically managed. So you see how easy it would be to, to do this. You can also change behaviors and uh, basically build up your entirely own menu if you want using Reactor's configuration interface. Very easily laid out with pages where you can just go through these pages and you can change what are on the or assigned to the encoders. So easy inside of Reactor 2.0. At Skyhoy, we understand that no two productions are alike. And that is why we have created a range of controllers that can be combined and configured to any live production settings with your Sony FX6. Even with a single controller, you can set your preferred layout of each single button, knob, and even decide on joystick function. And it's all about giving you the power to create your perfect workflow. Thank you for being with us today. At Skyhoy, we don't just create controllers, we empower you, creators. And if you want to keep yourself updated on the latest releases, please subscribe to our social media or our newsletter. And until next time, keep creating.